Hello everybody, welcome back to Prison Architect. Today we're, by the looks of it, we're stopping a fire. We're on chapter two of the, um, the, the missions. Um, someone started a fire in the prison kitchen. The priority is to put out, stop any casualties to prevent more damage. Use the emergency service button to uh, call the fire brigade. Get this fire and remember before it burns the whole prison down. Oh my god. We're calling two of them. I've randomly called the riot police by an accident. Can we get rid of them? I feel like they're just gonna... Mind you, we might need them in a second. Okay, guys. Oh, you can just click them. Ah, oh, that's it. Let's get them deployed over here. Get these guys over here. Wait, do you have to do something? Oh, no, you have to right-click, don't you? There you go. Let's go, team. Oh my god, this is a big fire. I don't know how we're going to put it out. Come on, boys. Let's do this. Oh my god, they're splitting up. Some... Whoa, my god. Um, we might kill a fireman here. Oh, wait, they're actually really injured already. They're dead? Did I do this wrong? Did I actually do that wrong? Okay, let me call another one. <laughs> what the hell? How are they dead? Did I do that wrong? Was I supposed to just spawn them outside? Alright. Well, this guy isn't going to do anything. Let's get another one. Okay, right. This time, um, don't run inside. Wait, he's dead, but he's walking. That is scary. He's back from the dead. Right, let's get them there and let's deploy these here. They, it does look like the whole prison's been burnt down, but I don't know why we're worrying so much. Look how much freaking money we've got right now. One million dollars. That's crazy. Yeah, it turns out I did actually cock this up. But it's okay. Let's get a bit further in there, boys. Come on, you can do it. Oh my god, now we're going to have to like rebuild the prison, aren't we? Or this part of the prison, anyway. These guys are going to be mad. Oh, wow. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Oh, oh my god, there's an injured guy. Oh my god, there's a survivor in the wreckage. <coughs> Sound effects are crazy. Oh, it's the mob boss. Christ on church, it's Don, Don Palmiro of all the inmates. It just had to be the mob boss. Oh, it's actually the mob boss. I thought you looked like a mob boss, you know. The bad news for him is that budget cuts have meant we've had to sack all permanent doctors. The good news is, budget cuts? you got a million pounds. Our infant... Uh, infirmary is still usable. Hire a couple of doctors and they'll take care of Don Palmiro while we sort this mess out. We need to clear up this mess. Use the bulldoze tool to demolish the ruined canteen and kitchen. You need to remove all the debris. 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 There's net garbage home adjacent to the road. I'll work more dump the wreckage there for garbage truck disposal. Finally, you can send the requirement, the fireman, <laughs> home now. They've done the job. I've added more details for each of those objectives into your to-do list. Anytime you're unsure what to do, highlight the objective and you'll see additional instructions. Oh my god, look at this! This is crazy! Okay, right, so we want to do the garbage zone first. That's probably going to be the easiest thing if I can find out how to do it. Garbage, there we go. Staff, we want two doctors. Where are you, Don? Oh, so you've already been taken to the... Okay. Uh, definitely going to employ more workmen, just because I can afford them. Uh, oh, okay, doing too much. Then I'm gonna bulldoze the entire kitchen and canteen. Yeah, cool, right. Send the fireman home now, alive this time. Incoming, cool. I want to show this building take a while. You can pass time more quickly by using the buttons under the clock. Yeah, I know that, that's cool. Oh my god, one of the firemen is. Why is he down there? Oh, because he was hurt. Oh, they took him to the infirmary, that's so good. I thought he was dead. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Right, we've almost cleared the wreckage. We're at like... Wow, we're at a big percentage right here. Down the kitchen. Casual dead fireman. Can we throw these in the bin, please? Jesus, I'm a prison architect. Not... I don't... I'm, do architects build buildings and then have to run them? No. Well, why are you expecting me to do it? I'm due for a million pounds. I don't mind. Dollars, sorry. Boom. Firemen dismissed. Good work. Let's check up on our casualty. 
I want you to find whoever's responsible and kill them. Hey boss, it's me, Finny and Clive. God, hurry up, come on. <laughs> Grieve's funny. Dot dot dot. Ugh. I think he's trying to say something. Which of you cocksucking faggot banging rap piss motherfuckers did this? Oh my god, you are you guys are dead. Uh it, it wasn't me, boss. No one did this to you, Pappy. It was an accident. I don't think he believes you, Sly Steve. Dodgy Dave. Shut your stinking mouth and listen good, the both of you. If I knew which of you fuck started that fire, I'd snap your stinking neck. Don't think you're in a position to make them threats, Don Palmero. My time is done. I'm gonna die in this fucking bed. And there's family business to run, the Palmero name is all we got left. So you do the honorable thing, you dirty piece of shit fucks. Capiche? Oh god, look, it's getting faster. Uh, we know what to do, Pops. Yeah, boss. Leave it up to us. I like how his heartbeat got faster in that story. It was quite good. A little bit, a little bit of attention to detail. Watch your fucking back. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're enemies. What are we gonna do? Without food, these inmates will be tearing the walls down within a couple of days. We've got to secure the prison before we end up with a riot on our hands. This is the deployment screen. From here, you can control the tactical deployment of all your guards. Deploy a spread of guards to cell blocks and rooms. Assign 10 guards to stations around the prison. This should be sufficient show of strength for now. I also want a patrol around the inner courtyard where, we'll do, where we will be building the new facilities. Okay. Anytime you're unsure what to do, highlight the objective to see the additional instructions. Oh, okay, 10 guards. Guard patrols. Okay, actually, let's do guards. So you can like, that's it. You can deploy them in different places. Six, seven, oh no, we won't have a stop guard there. Eight. Nine. <laughs> Ten. Do we have to? There we go. Assign two guards to inner courtyard. I'm going to add even more just to be secure because they've scared me. We have a lot of work to do. We need to turn our attention to replacing the kitchen and the canteen. First, we need to rebuild the kitchen. You'll need to install several pieces of equipment and hire some chefs. Once that's done, build a new canteen. Once you've got all that completed, the chefs will automatically start preparing meals for the entire prison. If you aren't sure what to do any time, highlight the blah, 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 blah. Cool, so I actually get to build my own kitchen. So I have to build foundations first, guys. Calm down. Oh my god, I get to build my own kitchen. I've never done this before, guys. This big? Yeah, go for it. And then we'll have... Just pause it, just, just while we do the entrances and stuff. <sighs> then we will have a large jail door. No, it won't. We'll have just a single jail door in here. Well, actually, no, it won't. We'll have a staff door in here. I will decide one day. Uh, there it is. Staff door. Right there. Uh, and then we're going to have a kitchen. A canteen, sorry. Uh, we're going to do building brick. We have a massive canteen. I think we had one around this big before. Maybe not quite this big, but that'll be fine. Objects. Large shower door here. Oh wait, that's not supposed to. Oh, I did it again. In there, and then we'll put a staff door right there. And then, why do we need a bin? Maybe that's for the canteen. I don't know. Cool. Let's get building this real quick. Let's have a quick look into utilities and just see why does this not have water? Is it just turned up? Oh my god, some of the pipes burnt. I don't think that was part of the mission. But look at me. G.I. Joe, gonna have a go. Mate, I when I repair, I do repairs, okay? I'm I'm no half a job kind of guy, alright? There we go, so we've got lights in the kitchen, objects, um Where's all our kitcheny type things gone? 
Anybody? Our brains. Kitchen. Canteen. Like 50 cooks, even though we haven't actually got any kitchen parts yet. You know when you build a really, really like proper kitchen? Okay, that can go. You know, I just want to keep these guys on their toes. They're not going to know what the hell's going on. I don't want them to know my strategy, my building plan. <laughs> so I've built this like a retard. There's that done. Now we need the kitchen appliances. Can anyone see a cooker? Because I can't. Cooker. It was blinking, but I definitely didn't see that. Alright, one there, one there, one there, one there. I mean, you can't have too many cookers. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, they can blow your building up. Just, just, just like before. Okay, right. Can we have an extended menu, please? There we go. Fridge. We want. We kind of want the fridge up here. Okay, yep. More bins. Um, and then we'll have two sinks. This is obviously really messy, but hey, this isn't my prison. This isn't going to be a reflection of what my prison is going to look like, I promise. And then a serving table as well. Oh god, they're going to riot. They're getting moody. Oh, they're getting broody. Hmm. Uh, right, back into utilities. And then we'll notice that these have no... Electricity. Oh, this needs electricity in here. This needs electricity like all through here and stuff. Uh, and then we'll need water to come over here. I think it's okay just going to the one. I think they kind of spread up to the next, maybe. Just in case. Yeah, they definitely do. Okay, so we've actually got a functioning kitchen. Connect the sink to the water mains. Okay, once I've done that, improve the kitchen floor. Right. Let's pause time, just for a split second. Okay, we're going to do all the little things, just to make him love us a lot. Um, hire at least eight. Eight cooks? Jesus Christ, I didn't see I think that was many. It would be that many, sorry. Right, so marble tiles in here. We're going to go for. Uh, one there, and two there. And then in the kitchen, should we go for we should go for ceramic because ceramic is not flammable. Well, I don't think it is. It might be, but I don't know that, so it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna hire two more cooks. Okay, four more cooks or three more cooks. I don't know how many more we ordered. Okay, do you order cooks? Is that a thing? <laughs> um, what's this guy doing? Oh, he's laying out brick. Okay, can someone at least do this this one pipe here, please? It's it's come on. You guys are really focusing on. I think that made it high priority, you know. There we go. Right, then our sinks have fit. <gasps> We're done. Look how cool this looks. You would not believe what I've just been told. What have you been told? Oh, God. There's, there's drugs. They discovered a pack of narcotics and bottles of hidden alcohol in the crates. We suspected the Palmyra family of smuggling into this facility for some time now. We've never been able to determine how. Some days it's just, it's just, it doesn't just rain, it pours. Yo, I'm Victor Palmero. Boss of one of the East Coast's most feared families. Uh, mob families, actually, not families. Palmero's eluded the FBI for decades. Uh, Duns had a son, and a natural here ran the day to day operations. Nico wasn't a made man, but was welcomed into the family. Uh, business when he married the Don's daughter. And Sonny, the Don's second son, the runner blitter, temper like a pit bull, and only half as smart. <laughs> the Empire Run Narcotics remained to Florida. That was until Anthony got caught in flagrante delisto, delicto. Oh! What? Oh, shot there by jealous husband. Oh my god! Unfortunately for the family, police at the scene found 12 kilos of uncut cocaine in Anthony's sports bag. The evidence led straight to the top. That's crazy, ain't it? They're linked together, that's awesome! Why didn't the lady go to prison? That's a bit sexist, right? 
Overnight, everything the Palermo, pa, Pala, Palermo, I've been saying that wrong the whole time, family had built up crumbled to the ground. The FBI had everything they needed to ensure they were in jail. Which leaves Vitalia, the Don's daughter, the only living member of the family who isn't behind bars. Why though? Don't know much about her other than she was always kept outside the family business. But somebody on the outside must have been sending those drugs in. She's a bitch. Is he dead yet? Oh look, the doctor's just resting. We can have quite a serious narcotics problem on our hand here. We can't deal with that yet. We've got our kitchen and canteen up and running. Our chefs will work on preparing food for everyone, which should cool things down. I'm concerned that the fire was clearly deli was clearly deliberate, and we don't want a repeat of that. Install a sprinkler system over the new kitchen and canteen and connect them in the water mains. That is a brilliant idea. All prisoners have needs. This is directly right now. Everyone's starving, hungry, and that's what all the shouting has been about. Food is one of the highest priority needs. And if you ignore it at your peril, the prison a prison is just a few failed meals away from wall to wall riot. You can monitor the needs of all your prisoners from the needs report, which you can normally access through the reports. And blah -dee blah come on, hurry up. Combine needs of all your prisoners. Red means a lot of prisoners are angry about this, whatever. I expect food is red for actually everyone. Okay, it's your decision. Okay, or you can just ignore your prisoners needs altogether. I'll leave that up to you. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna kind of leave the optional things and just get the get the main the main things done. Um, where is a sprinkler? We want like we literally want them everywhere. Well, the prisoners will probably just break them anyway. It's gonna be the cookers that will start the fires. We'll literally put them everywhere, just because. Okay, so is that an objective complete? Install the install a couple of yeah. Connect the kitchen sprinklers to the mains and connect the water sprinklers to the mains as well. Easy peasy squeezy lemons. Guess it was a bit of a stupid move putting them all over the place because now we have to sort of connect them up. Real dodge. <laughs> I don't know how we're getting twelve grand a day, like. How? We had an incident in the shower, says a body. <laughs> Actually, there's two bodies. Lucky for us, we've got cameras in there. When you get a moment, click on the Polaroid in the showers and we'll be able to take a look at what happened. From what I know, I don't think the cameras actually work like this, but it's because story mode. It's where the... Where's the fucking showers? Oh god. Oh no, look, it's one of the Mafia brothers. It's dead. God's sake. Oh, it's his brother that killed him. What a nice guy. Oh, Donnie. <laughs> Alright, alone. Perfect. Oh, just skipped a little bit. Yo, you're coming with me. You took your time. Cut the bullshit. I never did know what that whole sister of mine saw you. This is her idea, the old man. Is that what you think, you fat fuck? I didn't mean for him to get hurt. I love him like he's my own father. I'm sick of seeing his family brought down by your stupidity. The fire was meant for you. Oh, they're gonna have beef. Then consider this repaying the favor. Oh god, it's one eye Steve. Don't come the same, we both knew you planned to take me out one day. Yeah, you always were a smart guy, Nico. Look what I got you, don't worry, you won't feel a thing. Oh god, I told you, watch your back. That's so good, the animation's awesome. Have you met Frankie before? He's got unique ta talent in with piano line. Frankie is on it. Honestly, by the time he's finished, they'll think it was suicide. Oh, God. I thought they said they had two dead bodies, not three. 
Or maybe, oh, they've only got, they've got two and a half. This one's just unconscious. <sighs> For God's sake. I wonder how he's in bed. Oh, he's in bed with his dad. Or, oh, well, he's in the hospital. <laughs> We're selling those cards to every con here. The guards tell me they've seen a lot of prisoners so inside the drawers. And I want you to search every prison and every cell. But we find... I'm going to say Palmyro anyway, because it's just it just... Palermo doesn't sound good, alright? Palmyro drugs all over the prison. Okay, you can do like a shakedown, can't you? Hire more guards to speed up the search. Yeah, definitely can do that. <laughs> How many? Is that enough? Shake down. Let's go, boys. Bring them in. <laughs> just get all those stuff. Look how quick this is happening. We can just have guards all over the place when we um, find all the drugs in the prison. Oh, we're done. Wow, really? That quick? Look how many stuff we're finding, though. On the positive, it's not as bad as it could have been. But there are definite problems with drug and alcohol dependency. We need to help these men. It's the only way of curbing their activities and dealing with their symptoms. Start a drug treatment program in the family Drugs will administer a chemical substitute. We'll alleviate drugs for our addicts. Uh, for addicts, sorry. Um, for the alcoholics, there isn't a chemical subject substitute. So I suggest we start a group therapy sessions. You have to build a new common room to run these meetings to start new programs. Blah, 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 blah. So, let's get planning this common room. Common room, what does it need? It, needs, it just needs to be indoors. Okay. So we need to make foundations. I feel like we should just put the common room out here just because there's nowhere else really to put it in here. Well, maybe we could put it here, actually. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Okay, so our cell search is over. We found a lot of shit. Uh, we could just make rooms. We can add a door into here. Okay, right. Um, I still need to add a door. Where is it? Anybody? No? Dust? No? Anybody? Dust? There it is. Uh, let's make it right here. Hopefully they can get in around these chairs, but I don't know. Um, then we need to make a common room. Which we just need to do by literally dragging this down here like that. There we go. Uh, utilities. Let's pop this uh, we need electricity to come in here, like that. So we've got a common room now, and then we can start up a program, which... Um, alcoholic group therapy and drug addiction. Start drug. Is that it? Is that it, everybody? Okay, the CO is called in. Very good, we've made a real difference here, and I think the prison is back under control. You can stay and improve the prison further, or you can move on to the next facility. When you're ready to move on, click on the Polaroid in the infirmary. infirmary. Well, I think that's, um, that's not, that's, I think we, I, th I think we're good to move on. I think we can ready, ready up and move on to the next one. I will click this in two seconds, straight after I've done my outro, but... Funny fact, I actually um, restarted the episode, and I don't know how I'm going to edit it, so it sounds like I haven't restarted the episode, but it does. if it sounds like I hadn't restarted the episode about three quarters of the way in, then it clearly I did a good job. Thank you very much for watching. This has been episode two of the new series of Prison Architect. If you like the video, hit thumbs up. If you like my videos, go and hit subscribe. There will be another one of these soon, where I just carry on doing these chapters. I'll see you in a bit.